What is this glass object about 10 inches tall and hollow? The hole goes all the way through, so not a vase. I'm kind of leaning toward it just being decorative, but I'm just not sure. What is it? It's a candle holder. It could just be decorative not meant to be lit. I used to own two which I bought new and used not very many times. What is this sterling silver object? Looks like a spoon or a utensil but has a heavy solid thing at the end. It is about the size of a small spoon, otherwise I am not sure how to describe it. It was found in the kitchen of a house left there by previous owners. What is it for? Silver is very conductive. It is used to cool down tea. My great aunt used one just like it. Put it in your tea for as long as you like, and silver absorbs heat from the tea. Remove it in the heat with it, then it doesn't need to be refrigerated. I've been walking by this on the north side of 10th Street, between 6th and 5th Avenue in the West Village in New York City for years. It's the only one like it that I know of, made of brass, embedded in the sidewalk. The dots aren't glass, and they're about the size of nickels and recessed into brass. What is it? It's a pavement sensor control to turn the heated sidewalk on and off. This ensures that de-icing heaters operate only when needed, which minimizes energy costs without sacrificing snow melting effectiveness. A built-in hold on timer keeps heaters operating for an hour after snow stops to help ensure complete snow melting. What's the narrow board on the right for? I have only used it to set hot pots and pans on, but it's so narrow it's not really that practical. I understand that the larger pull-out board is a breadboard or cutting board. I think the building is from the 1920s, but I'm not sure. I just don't know what practical use a small board like that would have in the kitchen. It's too narrow to really cut anything on it other than a baguette. And it doesn't pull out any farther. What is it for? It's where they used to clamp the meat grinder when they mince meats. My grandma had a grinder that had clamps on it to grind meat and breadcrumbs. She would attach it to the smaller one and grind onto the bigger one. Ground beef used to be ground fresh at home. Some dishes require fresh high quality meat due to load and no cooking during preparation. What is this rooster basin looking thing on the wood stove used for? Made from cast iron about 6 inches wide and 4 inches deep. It had water in it sitting on top of the wood stove at this bungalow we're renting. I was just curious about what this thing was and why it had water in it. Should I be filling it out for some reason? It's a chicken steamer, used to add humidity to the house. An old school humidifier. You put water in it and let it evaporate slowly over the fire. That's why it's rusty around the rooster top. You can also add herbs or potpourri to keep your home smelling wonderful. What would this small pocket on the bottom of this Lenovo Legion laptop bag be used for? It's not too big and cannot hold thicker objects. But I've never seen anything quite like this. Almost every other pocket or compartment in this bag is labeled and purpose-built. I've looked on their site and found no description. My working theories are for a hip strap, but this does not come with one. What is it for? It's an anti-theft pocket to secure items like passports and wallets and anything easily stolen by pickpockets. I use mine for my medical card for my CDL. What is this plastic trinket found in a corporate swag bag? It has a hole just big enough for a fingertip. Two nubs looking like it clips to something and the end point inward. It's about 1.5 inches long. What is it? It's a keyboard key remover. It's to help install custom keys. But if it didn't come with any custom keys, they probably have it to you to help you remove all the keys to make cleaning easier. What is this metal thing attached to the counter in an old house in Michigan? It's attached to a friend's kitchen counter and only has J5 written on it. The crank can be turned by hand, but we are not sure what it is. It's a can opener. We had one of these in our house growing up. Simply move the handle to an upright position. Then lift the handle a few inches upwards. Place the can firmly against the inside wall of the opener. Firmly slam the handle downwards. Rotate the handle clockwise or counterclockwise. Enjoy open cans and be careful of sharp edges. 
I saw this laser on a field, rotating and scanning the fields around it. What is it scanning? The height of the growth maybe. I'm not sure if it's scanning anything or if it's doing something else. Any ideas? Most likely to deter birds. Green lasers are great for upsetting birds, we do it with the seagulls at work, and just a quick swipe across the roof is enough to get them all up and flying. I've been seeing these metallic strips taped by manufacturers to personal hygiene products, like toothpaste, shampoo, body wash and face creams. Some have them and others don't. I've tried googling what it could be but to no avail. I'm very intrigued by what it could be. They are anti-theft strips and will sound the alarm if you try to pass the detectors at the door when not paid for the item. I think there's a pad that deactivates them. They are single-use so whatever the pad does, destroys the tag. What is this hollow brass tube with the letter N engraved on one end, and the letter S on the other? I can unscrew the cap on the S end, but not the other. Found it in a state sale. It's approximately 7 inches long and appears to be brass and is fairly heavy. I just tried putting it in water, and it sunk like a stone. What is it? It's a small cylindrical brass map case, which explains the N and S. I believe this case was used before and during the Civil War. I know what it is, it's a grate. Does anyone know why it would be on the floor of a side room off a kitchen in an 1840s farmhouse? My grandparents' house is an old farmhouse from around the 1840s to 1850s in upstate New York. Off of the kitchen was a small room with a wooden floor that had a grate set in it. That was about two and a half feet wide square with a two foot wide circular section in the center that could be just lifted out right in the middle of the floor. The whole thing was a grid of little squares, nothing ornate. What is it for? It's a floor furnace with gravity fed air circulation. The cold air fell into the outer part hit the heat exchanger, and rose back up through the central circle. There would have been some partitioning under the grate to direct the airflow, so probably that part of the basement had a furnace in it, or possibly the grate was repurposed from somewhere else. What is this retracting metal spike on a spring? Sharp enough to pierce skin. No clue what this is or where it came from. Discovered in a junk box. The top can screw off, and the spring can be removed, just like a cheap clicky pen. What is it? It's a titanium toothpick. As a jeweler, I have repaired some gold and silver ones. Tiffany & Co. makes a few different ones. What are these hundreds of stainless steel pipes in a field near a dam? My best guess is breather pipes for a landfill site. But seems weird to have a garbage disposal site near a huge lake and dam. Wouldn't that make the water unusable? Located in Val Dendro, Italy. Any ideas? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.